Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Project Zomboid. We are back again. Um, we're still just doing some more searching. That's what we've been doing. Uh, just searching around, getting a... We did get some sleep just recently. I'm a little overweight, I'm thinking, because I probably have a lot in my main inventory. Uh, I guess not. It's probably because I have all these um, ripped sheets. God. That's causing me so much overweight in here. Just two water bottles, maybe? God. I think I'm just filling up. My bags are filling up in these duffel bags and things like that. Don't tend to be that great for carrying capacity. Yeah, I'm pretty much full on both of them. Yeah. Unfortunately, we got to get some better bags. And uh, so what, what we're still doing is still just looking around. I'm kind of looking still for some... Oh, we got a helicopter. We got a helicopter in coming around. That's not cool. Let's just fill our water bottle. Yeah, that kind of sucks. I hate it when the helicopters start in because I always... Shuffles the zombies around quite a bit. Oh, we get some mushrooms and stuff. It's pretty cool. So we're still kind of just looking around, and I thought I thought I'd do at least this would be the last episode of me oh, doing this, looking around, checking to uh, make sure uh, we could maybe we could find some extra items. I don't know. Uh, I definitely need some beta blockers. I'll put those in my regular inventory. Still overweight, huh? Just carrying too much. We just got too much stuff. That's too bad. Yeah, you know, well, you're just gonna have to be a little overweight there, Mike. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. Not really much I could do about it. Yeah, thank you so much, helicopter, for ruining my day. <laughs> I don't even really look to see what area we're in, but I do want to eventually get back to the logging camp because I think we have most of the books we wanted, and that's been kind of like a, the deal. Been looking for the books we need. I don't need twines. Don't need a lot of the things that I'm going to find in boxes, so we're just going to go ahead and look through these houses as quick as possible. I think this is an empty house. There's probably nothing in it. Oh, they got some stuff in here. Meat grinder. Got a walk. I would like to take some of these things, but we're starting to get a little overweight, which is a, a, to be expected. I guess I'll take a nutcracker. Yeah, might not. Might as well, because when we do some foraging and we look for. Um, and we get like nuts and things like that. I think the nutcracker can uh, crack them open. At least that would make sense to me. Um, it's not always that way in Project Zomboid, but you know, that'd be nice. Did I already look through all? No, I have one more room in here. Okay. Uh, we have disinfectant, so that's really what we needed um, in the health department. But the one thing we do need still for, for medical reasons is um, some sutures. It'd be nice to have some sutures. I mean, I think you can use twine and stuff, a twine and a needle, but um, I would kind of like not to. I'd like to just have my own suture and needle. That'd be kind of nice. All right, let's see if we get in this last house here. And we'll just keep moving our way, I think. We're doing pretty good um, finding a lot of the books that we needed. Because we have, I think we have almost all the books. I'm not for sure, though. I think I may, might need a masonry book or something like that. I don't know. I'm hearing a little bit of pounding. Inside here is the one zombie. We'll take care of it as soon as we get in. Here we go. We're in here now. Yeah, I see you. Don't worry. Oh, sorry, ma'am. Had to do it. All right, let's see what's on these shelves. Uh, fish tanks and stuff like that. I have a lot of those back at the back at the warehouse, so we'll just go ahead and leave that be. You know, we don't need more. It's kind of a weird bedroom location because it doesn't have a, a door out. You have to go through the kitchen. I mean, you have to go through the bathroom just to get out of the bedroom. Uh, that's one of those things when I buy a house, I go like, no, I'm sorry, but I don't want to go through the... I don't need to be going through the bathroom every time, you know, just to go into my bedroom. I mean, just to get in my bedroom, I have to go to the bathroom. It, it's just weird. It's just weird. It's a weird setup. You know, you should have always have a door into the living room or something like that, or into a hall. Uh, radish seed, sure. Uh, because we want to start gathering seeds, we're going to be uh, planting a garden pretty soon. Peanut butters, I do like them. I do like to have peanut butter, but if we can't carry it, we can't carry it. I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to make room for it, not yet. Some strawberry seeds, we can... You can't fit even strawberry seeds, really? All right, we're going to put that on our regular self then. We're going to be a little overweight. It's just going to happen. Uh, roasting pies and stuff like that. No big deal. Okay, that's pretty much it for this house. 
Alright, what else we got? Uh, maybe, oh, look at this house. Oh, actually, this isn't a house. Oh, the medical place. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. So I will grab a suture or two if I can get one. Let's check the door. Didn't think it'd be, oh, look at this. Look at you here, huh? Just thought you'd just be wandering around. That's okay. Let's get in here. I might break the window if I have to. I hate waiting to try to see if these door the windows will open. Okay, we got a window to open. That's good. All right, we just need to go in this back area here, and I think we can find some medical supplies now. Yeah, should be able to get some uh, pretty good things here. Um, I'm gonna just take the beta blockers. I mean, this is gonna overweight me quite a bit, but it's okay. We need a suture. Oh, there's a suture in here. We need tweezers. Oh, first uh, a doctor's bag. That's pretty cool. It's a uh, 1580, and uh, I think what we're carrying right now is 1865. Ooh, that has a better weight reduction, just less capacity though. It kind of sucks, but it has better weight reduction than what I have right now. Um, we need sutures, so I could get that first aid kit, which isn't a bad idea, but I would like to just get the sutures without having to do that. Oh, well, I think I'm going to have to um, open it. Can we open it? Ah, we have to equip it to open it. So I might, let's go take a look around the rest of the place. Let's see if there's anything else in here that we could just grab right, readily. Okay. There's an upstairs here, okay. Let's just look around. There might be some more stuff. Okay, there we go. Just some suture needles. I just want like, I'll take both of them. And oxygen tank. Ah, oh, man, it's, it's useful things, but not, not right now. I'm not gonna take it. A bone saw. Ah, oh, this is gonna overweight me so bad. Uh, I might have to think about how we're gonna reposition things. Maybe we'll get rid of something. Aluminum crutch. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Um, doctor's bag, me medical textbook. Oh, we haven't read that. Okay. There's a book. That's a, a book that makes sense to be here. That's like one of the first times you ever find something that makes a lot of sense when it comes to the book land. Okay, so we're going to be heavy load right now. Okay, what can we get rid of? I think I have a lot of cooking pots. I got two in one bag and I got some other in another one. Okay, they're going to get rid of some of these uh, colas and stuff. That's fine. Um, what else do we have too much of that we just don't need? Um, I'm just trying to think about things we're not going to really need. Maybe this juicer, because I have a mechanical juicer, and I'd rather use that, I think. I think I have a mechanical juicer. Yeah, there it is. Um, yeah. I think that would be good, because I think I have two cooking pots in here. Yeah, I do. Okay. So two cooking pots is fine. That's normally acceptable. Let's see if we can put some things away. Okay, that's good. Medical textbook, can you go in here? No. How about in here? Alright, this is making a little bit of room. This is nice. Any of the sutures in here too? Okay. That should help out with our weight a little bit. Okay. And get us our sutures. So we got all of our sutures. We got all that. Let's go upstairs, see if there's anything cool up here. This, this is the doctor's uh, main house. Oh, the doctor was in. Of course, he was taking care of sick people, so just kind of expected that he uh, would, uh, you know, he he died up here. That was probably the. Oh my God! Oh, ho, ho. didn't expect that one from the left there. That one kind of scared me. <laughs> How about in here? The doctor die in bed? No, doctor did not die in bed. That was probably him on the ground. Okay, so we already read that. Uh, ecology, we don't need that music. Uh, we haven't read that. But I'm just going to read it and put it back, actually. Because um, I don't I don't think I'm going to carry the music one. So play music, it's not really that big of a deal. Industrial, yeah, we already read that. Any zombies in here? No. Nothing else of use. Really, I don't think there's going to be anything else I really need. So I should start making my way back home. And maybe I'll, I'll, I'll spare you guys the grief of having to watch me get back home, but let's see what's in these uh, in this kitchen here. If I find some soy sauce, that'd be great. No. 
Because I will take soy sauce. If there is soy sauce, we will take that. No, nothing really uh, that important. Let's go ahead and eat a popsicle. It's getting a little hot. He's unpleasantly hot. And I don't have my shirt on anyways. I don't think I'm going to be putting on shorts right now. Ice cream sandwich? Sure, why not? Okay. Let's fill up our water bottles. And then I think we're just on our way. We, I think it's time to just go back home. I think we found everything and then I can start my crafting now. It's about that time to start doing some crafting, right guys? Yeah, I think so. Um, and so we just start heading north. Ooh. Okay. There's a little bit of zombies uh, this way. So I'm going to... I guess we'll just do another house then. Why not? It's so nice to be able to get down through all these houses right now because there's not really that many zombies down here. Come on, you can do it, Mike. Man, Mike. You, you're just awful with opening up these windows. Alright, let's just clear the house. Clear the house first. Make sure there's no zombies in here. I'm not seeing any. Oh, I'm hearing something. Okay, okay. They're outside. We got zombies outside and it's getting a little late. So I'm not, I'm not, I don't think I want to be uh, out here. And I want to get some sleep. So I don't want to be in this house, I don't think. Yeah, I'm already hearing some knocking on the window. Yep, it's right there. Okay, let's take a look at this bookshelf. Might just go back to some of my other places. Already read that. Uh, you have already read that. That's good. Already read. And okay. So that's it. And those books. Okay, that's outside. MRE and some thick rope, uh, cardboard boxes, not really needed. Okay, that's kind of freaky. All those zombies right outside. We're l still looking for some better bags. I'd love to find an Alice bag or something. I might have to just go through um, a lot of the um, boxes and just start banging through the boxes and everything uh, back at the logging camp because I think that might be our best way to get some more better bags and stuff yeah I'm just not finding the things I need right now okay check out this last room here no zombies in this whole house pretty good normal hiking bag a 20 and 70 uh, I think that's actually better than the one I have yeah it is it has better weight reduction too. Oh, I'd hate to have to move this all around. We'll just put it in our bag for right now. Okay. No zombies yet. All right. What else could we grab? Um, and I think that's it. I think it's uh, we get downstairs and maybe just kill the zombies that might be outside. Is this a door to out? Oh, okay. So this is kind of weird. I thought the door is like right there, but it's actually kind of like right in here. There's like a laundry room. Yeah. Okay. Let's take care of these zombies outside and get some sleep. I saw a couple. Yeah, there's another one. Oh! Okay. They keep popping out at me. Okay. That wasn't too bad. So, no more zombies I don't see. So, we're just going to go and get some sleep then. Should I sleep inside or in one of the rooms? I'll sleep in one of the rooms just because it's safer. A door shut, you know. There we go. Eight hours should be fine. Um, it's going to be a little bit early in the morning for us, but that's all right. Alright, so we're getting a little peckish. That's alright. Still a little overweight, too. I don't really know what else I really want to find. I mean, it's just some little things. I just figured while we're here, might as well look for them. And it's probably a good idea. And just do one more last little scavenge through the neighborhoods and everything. And then make our way back. Because after that, I don't plan on leaving uh, the, the lumber yards for a very long time. After I get my, you know, to get my base settled and stuff. So, I mean, 
No, the next time I come into town, it's just going to be overran with a lot of zombies. So. so we should probably think about doing our best about clearing out as many of these houses as we can, I guess. It makes sense. I mean, it, it, think about things that we could use and stuff like that. And more bags. more Because that's there's things that we're not going to be able to get at the lumber yard. And that's like bags and things like that. That's going to be our biggest problem, I think. Uh, any of these books I need? Glass working. Yep, we already read that. Good. Gunsmithing textbook. I probably need that to make like uh, bullets and stuff. Yeah, we already got the steel. That's good. Okay. Looks like this kitchen's pretty empty. Uh, we'll take the garbage bags. We always need garbage bags. I guess I could switch bags now from a regular duffel bag to a hiking bag. Not a bad idea. We'd be able to carry a little bit more stuff. I guess I could do that. It's just so much stuff in this bag right now. Eeks. Yeah. Well, alright. If we're going to do it, I guess uh, we, we do it, right? Yeah, let's just do it. It's going to take a second to all unload, though, but that's okay. Let's just fast forward through it. It's going to get extremely heavy for us, but that's alright. It's probably worth it. And then we'll unequip the hiking bag. Or no, the duffel bag. That's right. Duffel bag. It's like I have three of them. Okay, unequip. And then we're going to equip the hiking bag, right? And don't I have just a regular hiking bag? Or is it in the other one? Probably is. It's in this bag. Okay, and we're going to equip that as... I think it's secondary because I think the duffel bag was on the... Yeah, okay. And then we got to move all the stuff over again, and this is going to suck. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, all these little and fanny packs I can put on the sides of my bags. I could probably do that right now. It's not a bad idea. But we'll just, we'll just uh, deal with that when we get back, I think. I don't like dealing with it right now. Oh, I guess I could get rid of those sheet ropes. I don't really need to carry them. Alright. Let's go ahead and put that in the bag. Just take a second here. Once the doll gets in there. And then how much more extra room did I get? Um, It looks like... Oh, it's still pretty full also. Hmm. I don't know if that really helped out that much. Probably with weight reduction a little bit. We are hungry, so let's go ahead and eat some food. And then maybe we'll think about getting rid of some things. I don't know. I guess there's some things I'm not going to need. I don't know. We'll figure it out later. Not really interested in it right now. And trying to figure that out and all the weight reduction. So empty. I love it when it's empty like this where there's just no zombies. You know, you can just go take a look at stuff. This is our only chance for it, too, though. Remember that. We're not going to see this type of emptiness uh, later on. Okay, let's take a look at zombie land. No zombies in here. That's good. If I can find some more carrying bags, maybe, because I am going to get those dogs. Okay, bandana. Uh, nope. No, thank you. What else we got? I know eventually a zombie's gonna jump out at me, he's gonna freak me out. Alright, no zombies, huh? No zombies. Wow, a lot of stuff in here, but we got all of our medical supplies, I think, so. Don't think I'm gonna need anything. Alright, uh, one last room? Nope, nothing in here. Do do do. What else could we get? Um. I guess another house, right? One more house will do us for today. Since everything's going good, might as okay. Wait, wait. We got a closet. Always check out the closets. Always could be something nice in here. And is that everything in the house? Yeah, that's everything. All right, next house. <laughs> it just seems like you know this place is so barren of of zombies. I just can't help but want to look through a lot of it. Um, there's a shed. Kind of, oh, look at that open door. Wow, hardly ever see open doors anymore. 
Okay. Any zombies? No, not seeing any. Oh, okay. There we go. The key to the house. I will take that, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, mechanical juicer. Uh, nothing else, really. Uh, lighters. I got to start picking these up. I keep forgetting to. Potato peeler and potato masher. Huh. No, not seeing anything else I really want right now. All right, uh, that was some stuff, I guess. Taco sauce, that's kind of cool. Not really what I need, though. Laundry room. Then there are upstairs here. I think there is. Okay. Razor blade and no, none of that's interesting. Let's go upstairs. Maybe we can find a bag. Hey, look at this, a little uh, book area. Genealogy, literature, uh, advanced trapping, trig. No, none of that's books I need. Um, geology we have, philosophy, yeah, I think we're good on, we're getting to be pretty well on books right now. Okay. Some more books is good. Just hopefully, maybe we will find something we actually need. We don't need anything, probably, though. I think we're pretty full on books right now, but I'm sure there's probably, like, one book I don't have. And I'll find out about it later. I haven't really thought about what books I have and don't have. Okay. Okay, it looks like this house has been pretty clear. Let's go ahead and fill up our water bottle. Uh, I don't think I, I think I grabbed some tweezers if I didn't that'd be kind of bad But I have sutures and stuff um, what else could I use other than tweezers? I guess you know what I should check Let me make sure I have tweezers because that that would be a big huge problem if I ever got like a shard of glass in me That would suck being back at the lumber yard with no tweezers. Mm. Yeah, let's grab one tweezer that's a good idea because it's like one of those things where I see a lot of them and I go oh there's tweezers everywhere I don't need them and then I never grab it so I should just grab them just in case get a splinter or something I've never seen a splinter but I have seen you know shards of glass and that does suck All right, I think I'm gonna start moving up north and then uh, make our way back home now oh there's a zombie in here oh there's two zombies in there okay no let's just smash you out how about that uh, one of you guys should be a little bit faster than the other one. There we go. I like it when they cooperate like that. One's faster than the other one. Makes it a little bit easier. Okay. Anyone else in here? No. Some charcoal, some fishing tackle, um, red clay, silver ornament. Yeah, none of this really that important. Screwdriver might be. No, I have those back home, I think. I think we're okay. Can we get everything? Yeah, garland. I guess we grab all the nails. It just fill up the rest of our bags. All right, let's go. Start heading up. Start heading up. And I guess last little books, last little book check. I don't want to go around looking at each window to see which one's gonna open for me. I'm just gonna start busting win windows. Yeah. Oh, okay, well that's always good. That's gonna happen eventually. We haven't had an alarm in a while. Yeah, we haven't had any alarms, which is nice. It's been pleasant. We'll just walk on out of here. That's fine. I'm not even seeing any zombies. It's probably because of this gate here. It's keeping them from moving down. Yeah, it might be coming around it though. Not seeing anything. Let's just go ahead and get into a house then. Thank you, Mike, for being able to get in here. More disinfectant, tweezers, um, yeah. Bags. I really want bags. Just more bags. Satchel, no, that's not like the bags I want. Okay. Oh! 
Wow, she was a crafty little one. I couldn't hit her for some reason. Probably got a little, yeah, a little bit bruised up on that one. Okay. Let's eat some food. Is, are these still fresh? Yeah, bananas are still fresh. The refrigerators are still working at the moment, so we have electricity still. And, I, you know, you should utilize this time as best as possible. Make sure you find as many things as possible. Uh, look at look, advanced fishing, steel working. Okay, you yeah, have already read that. So we got steel already, so that's most of our blacksmithing. Hydrogen tank. God, all these things sound so useful. Ah, uh, I just don't know. I can't take them with me, honestly. More lighters. If we can take them, we'll take them. Baseball bats. Just a lot of luggage. Is there upstairs in this place? I thought, it's, thought it seemed like there would be. Hmm. Not really, not much of a house. Kind of small. All right. Uh, still head up north. Start heading towards the logging cans. Let's check out this uh, shed here. Maybe the door's open. No. All right, we're going to start getting in a population. As we head up north, we're going to start getting more around, more zombies. All right, blowtorch and stuff like that. Yeah. yeah. I think it's time to start moving back. Um, probably found all the things we're going to find. I'm going to go check out this house here. Hearing a little rustling, so there's some zombies around here. How about you, ma'am? You wanna you want a little attention? Oh, she's cute. She's a cute pixel art uh, little lady. <laughs> okay. So that's the blast house, I think, and then we'll call it quits. That'll be the last of the searching, and then we're gonna go on to crafting, I think. Mainly because I don't want to do any more. Oh my god, are you serious? I wanted to get into this house. This house looked like the type of house I wanted to get into. Maybe we'll just kill some zombies. Three, four of them. Not awful. Yeah, Mike needs to practice anyway, so he has to kill some. He needs to be killing. Kill the Zeds, Zan. Become a proficient Zed killer. Baseball bat. I mean, he's actually pretty proficient with the baseball bat, so I should probably think about using that. Oh, it's just so satisfying to kill. Oh, that was the leader Zed I just killed. I just killed their leader. They weren't happy about it. Oh, that's nice. That's too bad. I I'm sorry I killed your leader. I'm sure you're angry about it, guys, but not really much I can do about it. I had to kill somebody. Maybe, you know what? It's like I always thought about it, too. Is like, you know, your guys like on this delusional rampage thinking that everybody's zombies, but they really aren't. That'd be kind of a cool game to make. Like, you're... You like just trip out and you just start killing people left and right and then actually though these aren't zombies they're just regular people and they're just fending themselves off from you you know is you know cuz you're really they're just trying to walk up to you try probably like try to stop you or something like that like sir no don't do it and everything but you can't understand anything all you hear is rah, rah. <laughs> all you hear is the zombie clatter oh okay zombies are starting to move up up, up in on us Alright, so I think that'll do it for this episode. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make my way back to the logging camp. And I'll bring you guys back when I get over there. I kind of want to go into here, huh? A little bit of like storage areas and stuff. But now nah, I don't really need anything else. Maybe like another dog whistle. I guess I can go in here. This will be our last little deal. We're going to come around here. Come through here. A little bit dangerous, but let's see how many zombies are in here. If there's not that many, I, I don't mind actually killing some. A little storage area, yeah. I don't have my sledgehammer though, so maybe it's not good to be here. I guess I could get in through this door and maybe I can get into all the other ones. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, maybe we can take on like one at a time. Okay. Yeah, that was that worked out pretty good. Survival axe. Oh, never mind. Now they're all over at the door there. Oh, well. All right. So I guess that'll be it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see further. Take it easy, guys. Have a wonderful day and thank you for watching.